What's up, my beautiful, lovely chosen ones? Check this out. Welcome back to another video, my friends. Look, they are competing with you, chosen ones. Of course, they're competing you, competing with you. This is all many people really know how to do because we were taught this so early on. So let's talk about competition. Competition, as many of you know, starts way right back whenever you were a child. You always competed to win something. You're always competing to win. And when you see as a child, when you lost, how that felt. And if you have children, you see when your kids are competing in sports, which is why sports were created, you notice how your kid feels. They beat themselves up. They feel like they've done something wrong. They feel like they didn't do something right. They've tried to beat themselves up to figure out what they could have done differently. And we all know that sometimes in life, you got to take a loss. You feel me? Because a loss, you got to take a loss because a loss will be replaced with some gain later. But no, we were taught to compete with one another, especially when it comes to doing types of sports and any types of activities that were being taught to us when we were younger in schools. You always got to compete to win. How many of you been in these these type, types of uh, ex activities when, you know, I know many of you done sports or whatever type of competition activities you've, you've done. How did you feel whenever you didn't win? You feel like you lost, right? You, you beat yourself up. You think you did something wrong. You start, you know, the inner critic starts to kick in. You start to talk down on yourself. You start to talk bad about yourself. You feel like you want to give up. You don't understand why you didn't win. But whenever you win, you feel great. You feel amazing. You feel on top of the world. You feel that you can keep going. It's all it's the opposite of what it feels like when you lose. But it also goes on with you in life where you start to feel like you're never supposed to lose. That you always have to win. A lot of people have this type of belief right now that they always have to win that they never lose and when they lose it's it totally just tears them down just breaks them down chosen ones so yes you have people competing with you i feel like that's why they put sports here on this planet chosen ones because it's a trap it's a trap that messes with your head because i'm i just explained it to you right now why it's a trap and because i myself did a lot of sports growing up and when I lost, I shit, I beat the shit, I beat myself up. You feel me? I beat myself up and I just didn't understand why. And I grew up in life trying to compete with everybody and everything that I did. People try to compete with you so much, they try to finish your sentence. And whenever you're having a conversation with someone, they'll try to finish your sentence, chosen ones. But they can't do that to you no more because they have no damn idea what the hell you about to say next. But maybe in the past, people were easily able to finish your sentences because you were more like them. People are trying to compete with you, chosen ones, but they have no idea that you follow your intuition, that you follow your soul's path. You're on your soul's mission. They're trying to compete with you because they like what you look like. They like what you're doing. They like how you're inspiring others. They like how you touch others' life. They like how you don't give up. They like how you chase what's unrealistic to them they only know realistic things you chase un unrealistic things you knocking down walls and ceilings to get what no one basically understands you feel me you doing things that you doing things bigger than what your ancestors did here you came here to do it bigger than them no competition with them but you came here to do something more bigger and powerful and very unrealistic and to them shit they tripping out on how you doing this how you moving through this how you making shit happen how you making shit shake so they want to compete with you because they feel like damn I want I want to be like them you feel me I want to be like them so they start trying to be you copy you Try to do all the things that you do. But I'm going to tell you something, Chosen One. It's nothing to worry about because when you're a leader, people will copy you. And that's uh, fucking amazing. Because when you lead it and people start to copy you, it just shows who you are and the type of creative ideas that you have. And how much you are a creative person to have people actually want to do the things that you do. But nobody can never, ever be you. They cannot even clone you, Chosen Ones. They cannot make another you at all. The more people try to copy you, don't let it bother you. Let it be what it, what it is because they can never do it the way you do it, my friends. They can never do it the way you do it because they are not you. You know what I'm saying? They're not aware that they can follow their own intuition, their own soul to find out what they came here to do and how they came here to do it and how they came here to be and what their personality be like. Instead of them trying to be in competition and do what you do, they trying to do it better than you do it. That's not happening, chosen ones. <laughs> Nobody can do something better than you can do because it's for you. They're not aware of that. Again, because competition starts so early on in life, it's just like, fuck it. Like, hey, if they can do it, I can do it. They think it down on you. They don't think that 
They don't think that they think that if you can do it, they can do it because they think they better than you. They think they smarter than you. They think they wiser than you. So they think they can do it better than what you doing it, which is an illusion. Something's putting something's being put into their minds to make them believe that they can do something better than you. And the more they compete with you, the more they're destroying themselves, the more they're not getting anywhere, the more you keep rising up more and the more they keep falling back down because they're not doing it the way their soul is guiding them. Like the way they're, they're they're not being guided by their soul and intuition. They're just being in competition with you. They want to compete with you. Many people are going to be competing with you chosen ones. They want to be like you. I'm telling you, you're doing unreal, unrealistic shit. They only know realistic shit. You're doing shit that people thought you was going to fail at. They've been laughing at you behind the scenes. They never thought you would get where you are right now. It's a joke to them. It's funny to them. <laughs> but you're going to get the last laugh. You feel me? They've been laughing because you've been doing shit that is not realistic. And you know, but it's moving you towards success. You've been knocking walls and ceilings down and you keep going and you inspiring these people. So that's why they want to compete with you, chosen one. So if you're wondering why people are competing with you, this is why they compete. You keep competing with you. They want to be you. They want to be like you. They want to do it like you do it. And that's why it's very important to try to, to always keep some of your stuff a secret and don't be telling everybody your business and stuff because they trying to compete with you. They trying to use what you got against you and they trying to do it better than you. But again, nobody can ever compete with you chosen ones because they can't do it like you do because you are following your intuition and your soul, baby. But you got people out here trying to compete with you, bro. They think you're a joke. I'm telling you, they think you're a joke because it's not like I like it's not like them per se as a human thinking that you're a joke. It's the dark energy that is controlling their life that's dropping those thoughts into their mind and telling them these things. They're looking at you in a whole different level. Like they're looking at you, they're looking down on you because of the energy that is controlling their life's chosen ones. That's why I always tell you it's very important to know what's going on in this world and why people are the way they are, you know, so you can always still have love for the people no matter what man the people are not aware that they are being controlled by their thoughts they're reacting to negative thought patterns that they are living in the past that someone is controlling them so as why they compete with you chosen ones because your enemy feeling some type of way because of you so being so unique your enemy feeling some type of way because they thought you was gonna fail because you went all the way off the deep end baby and right when they thought it was gonna have total control of your mind you turn that shit back around and you came back stronger and your enemy feeling some type of way so the people that are being controlled and ran by your enemy in their minds are going to turn against you, going to feel some type of way against you. They're not going to like you. They're going to hate on you. They're going to try to compete with you. They're going to talk down on you. You feel me? That's one of the enemy's biggest uh, clever tricks is to when you know when you rise up and you start getting success, it starts to send its the people that it control and the people that work with the enemy as well. <laughs> it sends those people for you, try to comfort you, to try to bring you down, to talk, talk down on you, to talk. Uh, crazy to to say negative things to you to make you quit to make you give up to make you feel bad that's one of the enemy's tricks it uses the people to come against you and that's why you probably been noticing certain people been trying to compete with you and what you do chosen ones you already know we don't have to compete with anyone so if you're someone that feels like you have to compete with people because you've been taught that early on and that was a belief that you carried and maybe it turned into a habit and you notice yourself continuously doing this i want to tell you something chosen ones. you don't have to compete with anyone you are not in competition with anyone this is a me versus me journey you feel me you are only in competition with yourself getting better each and every day growing and learning evolving you know what i'm saying and transcending energy transitioning you know what i'm saying transforming this is a me versus me journey you don't never have to be in competition with anyone because everybody's journeys are different and you are already aware of this i'm just letting you know if you're someone who's struggling with this so you may see people that may be in the same field as you doing the same type of things that you're doing and they may be they may be higher in a higher place or a higher rank at a higher level right now and that may make you feel like you're doing something wrong again you are not doing anything wrong that is their journey instead of feeling like you got to compete with those people instead of feeling like those people are, are, are better than you or you feel like you're doing something wrong and why you're not there and comparing yourself to them just be inspired by those beautiful lovely souls that they are where they are that is motivation and inspiration just be inspired by those beautiful souls that they are where they are. It just shows you that you can be there too one day in your own way, in your own time, and the way you're supposed to do it. It just shows that God is in the building. You feel me? Look how these people are where they are. It shows that it's God is in the building and the universe is working in, uh, in, in their favor. And the same is happening for you. You just are where you are. And in your timing, you will be where you're supposed to be. You don't have to compete with anyone, chosen ones. Your journey is yours. Everything's happening the way that it should. And it's all happening in divine time 
comment at your time because I know it's a big challenge to basically watch that. Especially like you someone who made YouTube videos and you see that some people have less videos and more subscribers. Like that's something that can, that's an example of something that can really beat you up and make you think that you're doing something wrong. No, they're doing what they're doing. You're doing what you're doing. We all got our different journeys. We all got our, our different missions our, and it's all happening for us in divine time and we don't have to compete with these people. We don't have to compete with anyone, no matter what levels that, that they're on, no matter what level we are, we don't have to compete with anybody. We don't have to compete to look better than somebody else. We don't have to compete to dress better than somebody else. We don't have to compete to speak better than somebody else. You feel me? We don't have to do any of that. We don't have to compete to make something sound better uh, than somebody else is doing. We always just have to do what we're, we're, we're guided to do within ourselves, what our intuition is showing us and coming from our hearts, and that's it. Competition rules a lot of people's life these days because we are taught it early on i was definitely one of those people who done it and hey I, that's why i come on here and speak my truth and keep it real with y'all because i done it and so many of you may be catching yourself doing this shit off and on and uh it kind of it could kind of bring you down you know what i'm saying so it's just best to not ever compete you know what I'm saying? And that, and the people that are competing with you may not have this understanding. They may not understand this at all. They don't get this at all. They're doing it for all the wrong reasons. Because they think if they can do it better than you, then they can take your spot. They can take exactly where you are right now in your life and do it better than you and shine like you shine. But they don't know that you're a chosen one, baby. They can never have the light that you have regardless of that. They can never be you. They can never shine bright like you, chosen ones. And they can never do what you came here to do the way your soul is guiding your, you and your intuition is guiding you. They can never do it the way you do it. They're just hurting themselves trying. And they're trying to send doubt towards you. And that doubt is coming back in their lives because you ain't accepting it. Doubt is They're receiving the doubt that they're sending to you. And they're becoming very doubtful in their own lives because it's not coming to you because you ain't accepting it. So it's returning to the sender. They doubting you. You, you basically inspiring these people because of the things that you're doing because you, I'm telling you, even your enemies are inspired by what you do even though they feel some type of way towards you because they thought they had control, total control of your mind. They thought they won the battle with you. They thought they was going to possess you. They can't possess the chosen ones, but they are possessing other beings, but they thought they was going to um possess you and it didn't work so now they're sending people coming through people's minds trying to get these people to compete with you to try to make you compete with them and try to make you feel bad and try to make you feel down about yourself that's what they doing but you don't have to worry about any of that because you don't have to compete with anybody and those who are competing with you whatever comes back on them is their problem they're wasting their time so what happens in their life that's their business don't be bothered by it don't worry about it let it be it is what it is you feel me it is what it is. Let those people compete because you know nobody can't do it like you chose one. The way you do it is the way you do it. When they way they supposed to do it is the way they supposed to do it. You feel me? You can't never do what somebody else is doing and try to do it better than them. Because I mean, you even, hey, now that I said that, you notice how you heard that growing up? I'ma do it better than you do it. I'ma do it better than what he did. You feel me? That 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 saying right there says it says for itself exactly what I'm talking about. Somebody always trying to do something better than somebody else when they can just do their own thing. No competition. But again, competition is a trap that was set here in this matrix for us all, baby. So if you are someone who feels competitive still and you have, or you have a competitive belief or you catch yourself doing it, release that shit today because now it's in your awareness, baby, because I'm sending you confirmation right now. But I want you to let you know if you are noticing those that are competing with you or if you're not even aware that they're competing with you, I'm telling you, in case it comes across your path not to be bothered by it. It is what it is. You're a leader, my friend. You shine bright. Of course people want to be like you. Of course they want to be like you because man you did shit that people didn't never think nobody can do they ain't never seen nobody do the shit you do they ain't never seen nobody do the shit you do take the risks you take go get through the challenges that you get through get through the issues and blocks that you get through baby a lot of people struggle with that so you are a leader baby and you they are they're not aware this is part of your life mission you getting through these things and showing other people that they can get through it too you being yourself and showing other people that they can be themselves too but some people instead want to compete with you because they want to do it better than you i love you guys man if you like this video please hit that like button so we can get this video through the youtube algorithm as we reach out to more chosen ones light workers star seeds baby earth angels people who share equal exchange of energy baby as we're creating this this spiritual platform right here on my channel, Miss Kelly Travel Spiritually Channel, baby. If you are someone that feels that my videos resonate with you and you feel that you're getting messages from my videos, consider tapping into the full awareness, love, and light by hitting that subscribe button and that bell because you are here by no coincidence. You are here because you were guided here. You were here for a reason, baby. 
everything's happening in divine timing, but it's your choice. Consider tapping into the full awareness, love, and light that I share here with each with you guys each and every on my channel, each and every day on my channel, baby. I'm rocking with you, baby. I'm the mind master. You're the mind master. I'm the alchemist. You're the alchemist, baby. And we getting our minds right here on this channel, baby. That's just real talk. So I want you to comment down below in the comment section. I am competing with me. It's me versus me, baby. People are competing with me, but they can never do it like I do it because this is my journey. And I am me. And I am doing things the way my intuition is guiding me, the way my soul is showing me. Okay, so don't be bothered by any of that, baby. You are doing exactly what you're supposed to. Share this video to anyone you want to share this video to. If you have any comments you want to share down below, drop them down below in the comment section. I love you guys. Y'all keep taking care of yourself. And always remember, this is a me versus me journey. You don't have to compete with anyone. Competition is a trap, my friends. And we were taught that early on. Come back to see me. Miss Kelly Travel Spiritually checking out. Much love, baby.